22 points. Joe Harris with 10. It has been a blowout from the second quarter on. I know games are not necessarily determined that early, but this has been all. Team of Fay with the uh, the long jumper. Team of Tay, I should say, Luwawu Kabaro. Just under six to go in this fourth quarter. Wanamaker. And the good touch by Michael Mulder, second year man out of Kentucky as Steve Kerr has gone deep into his bench. Played a couple of years at Kentucky. Was a two-way player last season. Damian Lee. Oh, nice reverse by Mulder. Beautiful move. Using that pump fake to get some space and get inside. Mulder, one of many... Canadians in the NBA. In fact, Golden State might lead the league with two. Andrew Wiggins born in, in Canada. Here's that move again by Mulder. You shorter guards in there anytime you can when you put the ball up in a head fake and use the rim to block off the shot blocker. You always have a better chance to score an easy one. And the foul called as Wanamaker hits the deck. The NBA on TNT being brought to you by the all-new Kia Sorento, the world's best storytelling machine. And by Hennessy, the spirit of the NBA. Golden State Warriors... With an injury hit squad last season, fell off to a record of 15 and 15 and 50, I should say. This is after the three NBA championship seasons within five years. However, things went south. Clay Thompson is out. Draymond Green is out tonight. Steph Curry. Also, with the injury last year, played only five games. And again, the disrespect of Clay Thompson to me is unbearable. For you to have the same expectations on a team without that man. And he is still, even if he is laid up with a cast on right now, one of the top five best two way players in the game. His shot blocking ability spaces the offense like no other player in this league. He always guarded the toughest player. His Wiseman knocks down his first NBA three from the top of the key. Nice to see. But Clay Thompson, get well. We fans miss you. The game misses you. And for all of you out there that think that this can be the same team without Clay, no. How about the touch by Wiseman? As you mentioned, hitting the three. Tell you what, he knows like any high draft pick. You make one, you got the right to shoot the next one. He hits the jumper from the top of the key and takes one right there. Coming up on three minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. The alley -oop. For Weisman. There you go, young man. Have some fun. This is still your first game. A lot of learning to do. He showed us a lot. He showed us his skill set with passion. Of course, his athletic ability with the first dunk and that on the oop and then being able to spread the floor with the two jumps. And six for 10 from the field. 17.6 rebounds. What a do. Although, obviously, this game is way out of hand for some time. 
Once again, it's Lou Awu Cabarro with the bucket. 120-91 next. Damian Lee able to drill it. Talking earlier with Steve Nash, and we're talking about watching film. We'll get back to that in a moment as we go to break. Tell you what, Mark, he's going to watch some film of this rookie and say, you got a lot to work on, but I like what I've seen. The step back three, the catch right there, the step back, and you know I love this. Go up, young man, and get it. Make a poster. You made it to the league. Welcome. It has been a blowout. Biggest win of the night for the Brooklyn Nets. 38 points. They lead here by 20, make it 26. Largest margin of victory last season came against Golden State. A 41-point victory back in February. Just under two to go here. In the fourth. How about James Wiseman? Once again, hits the long range shot. Not a three pointer, but still, he has 19 points, 7 of 11 from the field. And it was a question as to whether he would play. <clears throat> Off one foot now, Wiseman not able to hit. No 
the uh, Coolidge, who just checked in with his first field goal. I was talking about Steve Nash looking at film. He said at first he was looking at it in the wrong way. He was looking at it as if he were a fan or a player. Because I got to look at it like I'm a coach. <laughs> he was just sitting back and enjoying the game. That was just game recognizing game. He's one of the best <laughs> players to do it. So he was like, what? I get to coach these dudes. Did you just see what he did? Oh, the final the layup hit by Reggie Perry is a two-way player, rookie out of Mississippi State. Who gave it up? Wiseman and a foul. Did you have some communication just a moment ago, uh, Chris? Someone reaching out. Oh, it's Joe Smith. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, I didn't say that, Joe. You played in – I know you from 9-1. Shout out to you and your Maryland team and all the great guys that were on that team. Hey, Joe, tell Steve um, – I mean, tell um, tell Spree to make sure he give me a call. You know where he is. But uh, congratulations on playing with all those teams, Joe. He had a heck of a shoulder work game, Marv. He's back to the basket. He was so wiry but was still strong inside. And for all of us that were Golden State Warriors, even if it was just for a season or two, I tell you what, it was a great experience with, with those fans from the town and now in San Francisco. A first-round draft pick at the age of 20 by the Golden State Warriors. Down to a half minute to go. I'd like to thank our producer, Tom Heights, director, Lonnie Dale, associate director, Aaron Banks, Production assistants, Nick Holberg and Keon Grissom. Production managers, Kim Titone and our statistician, Brian Taylor. Time is running out. So Damian Lee is able to knock it down. A game that the Nets led by as many as 38. And they win it on opening night, 125 to 99 over Steve Kerr and the Golden State Warriors. These guys are very good friends. In fact, Steve Nash.